And um, talking about that, we want to see how we can set up the modern approvals. So as already mentioned, it's an opt-in feature. So um, you'll go there in your settings, in your model driven project operations application, go there, uh, select a parameter um, you have for your instance, and then you can have that overview on the drop down feature control right there. And there you have like enable modern approvals. Um, what you can do is basically you can try it out and you can see maybe if it works fine for you and you can also disable it later anytime. So this is also one of the great benefits right here. Um, if it doesn't fit your needs or you, it doesn't fit your expectations, uh, you can just go there and disable it again. Once enabled, uh, you will see that there is a modern approvals section on your parameters form. That holds the background approval threshold. That's the number I've mentioned before. So the number is there to, to split into two areas, the sync area and the async area. So if the, the threshold was like zero or null, then each record will be asynchronously um, processed. So that means um, if, even if I select a single record, it will go to the async flow and this will be processed right there. If it's bigger than zero, um, the number till it reaches um, the given number or the number of approvals till it reaches the, uh, the given number will be processed uh, synchronously. And if it like exceeds that number we have given here, it runs into um, asynchronously process. So um, as mentioned, that has the benefit. It's quite individual and I can still get like in the, um, direct approvals right there. So um, just, just imagine a scenario, you have like two records left for approval and you have all been waiting the whole day for that. And there was some recalling action and all this stuff and you need that to approve that for the invoicing and you want to just have those two um, and you select those two, you approve it, it still works right away. It's not like going into the async and then you're waiting for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes maybe, and it will be processed over a time, uh, but you can still have that direct approval. So this is still there. Um, you basically get both uh, best of both worlds of that. And when you want to, or when you're selecting um, multiple records that exceeds that threshold number, uh, you will also get a notification as a user. So you select like 10 records, uh, hit on the approve button, and then you will see that message. So selected records have been queued. The system will continue processing your selected records for the action, and it will all go fine in your background, and will you will you can track it with approval sets. So we recommend to put the approval sets maybe on the sitemap or like include them to the to the views you have that uh, you can always kind of quick access them because all of the box they're only available in the advanced find. So maybe you want to put them somewhere visible in your model driven map, even if it's just for the administrators, um, but it makes sense just to put them there. And then the recommend value for um, the background approval threshold. Uh, from our side, it's something about five. Um, so everything till five records will be processed um, synchronously. And this happens quite fast. This is happens uh, very consistently. There's like no breakups of that, no hiccups. Um, we didn't make any or didn't had any bad experience about that. And everything that's bigger as five, it will be going to the async um, uh, section and will then process at any time when it's available. And we really make made a uh, yeah good experience with that approach, and uh, for our own testing, for our own productive environment, and as well for like customer environments. So um, our testing was there pretty nice with, with that value. You can also like put it a bit down or higher, um, depending on, on how the process is working for your project managers. And even, you can still like adjust it, so you can try it out. So maybe one month you could go with a five, and the next month you go with a ten, and you can maybe see and observe if there's any differences. There's one thing to check. Um, that depends, I think, a bit on the version uh, you're working with currently of the PSA or the project ops. Um, to check on if the Cloudflow is enabled. Um, we had some certain cases where the Cloudflow got not enabled 
ultimately um, it could be that this is already fixed but I just give you that as an information um, that you have the knowledge and you check with that so um, what you want to do is you go to your suggested environment where you want to or you have enabled Basically, you, you do it after enabling. <laughs> so you have enabled the modern approvals and you don't just want to double check. You go to solutions and then you search for the project operations uh, solution. That's right there. It's the, um, the name is the project service and displays project operations. And from there, you hop in and then you have the cloud flows right there. And there's only one that makes it quite easy to check on that. So it's a nice and easy check there. So you go to first to the cloud flows on the left hand side and second down you will see the project service recurrently scheduled project approval sets flow right there. And opening that you just uh, double check if that status is set to on. Uh, if it's not you can turn it on um, manually. Uh, also what you can do is you can go there and find out if, if, if it runs or where it runs, was there an error or something. So just a normal, like a normal flow. But this is just like to double check um, in terms of to make sure that everything works all fine.